Um, I think Steph Curry is the most revolutionary player, not just in basketball, but in sports. There's not many people, not many athletes who completely changed how a sport was played. And and how how everything works. Um, Steph Curry eliminated big men who can't shoot in this game. He eliminated basically power forwards and centers who play back to the basket and kind of don't really venture out past mid-range. Um, basically, big men in this league nowadays have to be able to at least shoot an 18-footer but also kind of have to space the floor, spread it out a little bit, and hit a three-pointer. There's no there's no room in this game anymore for back-to-the-basket centers. You see centers all the time now working on their three-point shot. Power forwards working on their three-point shot. Like Andre Drummond is working on his three-ball. Um, players who usually just live around the rim... They're they're working on trying to venture out so that way they become they can still be impactful players. Steph Curry has eliminated players who are unable to shoot in this league, especially at the four and five spot on the court. And Steph Curry has changed how NBA offenses are schemed and how and how they play and how their offense is focused. You know, in the mid two thousands, it was all about the mid range, and and stuff like that, like Kobe's mid range jumper, Tim Duncan bank shots off the block. But Steph Curry made it all about the three ball. He made the Warriors. He gave the Warriors their identity with his shooting, and then he just changed how how the league, how the rest of the league plays. It was kind of like a monkey see, monkey do. Once the warrior, the Warriors did it and were successful and they won a championship, the rest of the, le- of the league started copycatting. He has changed how teams have to play in order to win in this league. The Milwaukee Bucks are a, be- a great three-point shooting team. The Houston Rockets take the most threes and probably make the most threes out of anybody in any given regular season. They've adjusted. And that's why teams like the Los Angeles Lakers didn't make the playoffs this year because they weren't a three-point shooting team. They didn't have great three-point shooters. And as a result, they didn't win a ton of games. Granted, they had injuries and other issues that were going on within the team. But they had playmakers, not shooters. And you can't you can't win a lot of games like that in this league. You're Likely not going to win a championship like that in this league. And Steph Curry has kind of changed that, the whole dynamic of the game for for the NBA. And not even the NBA, not even just the NBA. He has changed how teams play and how kids play at the college, high school, and even middle school level. He has changed how every young teenager trains and how how they want to play the game. People think, you know, everybody wants to be like LeBron or like a Giannis or KD. Nobody. There is a very rare bunch on this on this planet that can grow up to be that size, have that much strength, and have all those athletic gifts to be able to do what a LeBron James does, Giannis, or any of those guys. But Steph Curry... He is the most relatable guy in the league. Short, small, undersized, doesn't weigh a ton, and can shoot. And not everybody's going to be able to dunk a basketball or be extremely athletic. You can't really change that. But you can work on a jump shot. And Steph Curry is who kids aspire to be now. That's that's what Steph Curry has done for the world it's he is he has become a beacon for what players want to be like he's changed how 13 year old kids train every day 
always shooting jump shots, not playing around the rim anymore. College basketball teams are now using the three ball uh, more frequently. They're change, they're adjusting their styles of play to um, focus it around three point shooting and perimeter shooting. And that's how it's working with high school too. It's just a trickle down effect. And right now, Steph Curry's arguably the world's best player. I was thinking KD uh, would take over that role from LeBron after this season. And although Kevin Durant is very talented, and he might be the most talented offensive player in the league, I think Steph Curry is, he might be the best player in the world right now. Two-time MVP, three-time champ, and he took a back seat to a player who is more offensively gifted than him. And he's virtually egoless. He doesn't have an ego. He doesn't care what people think of him. He doesn't care about taking a back seat. He doesn't care about sacrificing his gifts for others to thrive. He might be the world's best player right now and he is certainly the most revolutionary player probably in sports history like there's no player in the NFL who changed how you played football like Tom Brady he's the greatest quarterback of all time he didn't change how football was played um Lawrence Taylor was an amazing edge rusher but he didn't change how the game was played it made it difficult for teams to play the game they wanted but he didn't change he didn't change the game for every team he didn't shape the league Steph Curry is solely responsible for an an entire shift in play by an entire league he is the one that set the whole three point shot in motion And he's he's incredible, man. He is he epitomizes what every kid wants to grow up to be who who loves basketball. He's the most uh, skilled shooter of my lifetime that I've ever seen. He's the most skilled shooter in NBA history. And our, I think right now he might, like the, the way he's playing, he might be the best player in the world. And I am not kidding. And I think this NBA Finals, which I, I'll get to the other side of in a minute, I think he's going to absolutely thrive if Kevin Durant doesn't play. And if they win the Finals without KD or if KD plays a limited role, Steph Curry is going to take that best player in the world um, crown and everyone will bow down to him because he is just so great. He's so revolutionary and he's iconic to NBA history. Hi, everyone. Subscribe right here to catch all the latest segments from the Will Ford Show. Also, be sure to subscribe to my podcast, The Will Ford Show, on SoundCloud and on Apple Podcasts. And also follow my Twitter account at The Will Ford Show. See you soon.